Another popular feature within um, X3 is the business process diagrams and the various dashboards um, that are made available to you within the system. Um, and these business process diagrams and dashboards can also be customized um, and developed um, you know, by your IT group. Uh, so to access uh, these elements, what you're going to want to do is come to the upper right hand corner and click on this house or this home button up here. And when you do that, that's going to tunnel you over to um, this view. And kind of going down your left list here, you have these uh, kind of out of the box um, dashboard views, um, you know, set up for you. Uh, down through here, you can also establish uh, new views with new elements. Uh, but taking a look first, uh, let's take a look at this one here for the material buyer. So in here we have two different tabs with, you know, key information than the business process itself. Um, so this key information section, um, this is going to be kind of different analytical tools. So, you know, maybe I'm a material buyer and I'm interested in the purchase requests that I have out there that are late. So this... Um, dashboard view here kind of gives me some insights into that here are all my various request numbers okay there's the respective product uh, you know the supplier that's tied to it you know I got my date information and what's nice about these elements is I could click on this link here and this will tunnel me directly over to in this case my purchase request same thing over here with the uh, dashboard view for my late purchase orders okay Again, I have links that I can, you know, tunnel direct to the element. I scroll down here. I have some up in this section right here. I have some requesters or reports that I can run. Okay. For turnover, um, you know, top 10 suppliers and so forth. Okay. So basically any type of analytical element that you just want to have uh, presented to the user in a dashboard view. Um, you can get set up here in the key information section. Uh, next, if I come over to this business process tab, um, this is kind of a business process diagram um, that in this case um, is uh, addressing reordering. So uh, these are kind of the general steps within X3 that the you know somebody within this department would go through when they're reordering products. Okay. And like I said before, uh, this type of flow, your organization's flow will likely be a little bit different than this kind of out of the box flow that's presented here. Uh, but all these elements can be uh, updated and customized to, you know, match the respective um, needs of your organization. Um, but what's kind of nice about these flows here is, you know, these links here, these are basically tunneling links. So the um, everything, these green and white circles, if I clicked on those, those would tunnel me into, um, you know, the various functions as it relates to the reordering. Um, up here, we got this magnifying glass, which represents, you know, our inquiries. So any of these links in this section will tunnel me into these different inquiries for, you know, available to promise inventory, stock by date, um, you know, projected stock in inquiry. Um, over here in this block right here, uh, we have our various printouts that we can do associated with the purchasing process. Okay. Down at the bottom, you'll oftentimes see, you know, just some helpful notes for the user. So I can come over, over in this process menu, and if I'm wanted to go from reordering maybe over to like say purchase requests, I could click on that link, then that's going to update my uh, business process diagram there. Okay. So if I wanted to add a new element, um, what I can do is I can come over, I have my landing pages section here. I could come down here and click on new. You know, give me, you know, a page name here. So, um, you know, maybe I call it uh, something like sales with MGR. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use my current endpoint. I'm working kind of in the demo folder right now. Click on OK. So that sets up a new sales manager tab for me. 
So within here I can say, well, I want to link in a query. And under my module here for sales, uh, maybe this is sales order information that I'm interested in. And maybe I want to see all my open sales orders. So I click on that gadget, click on my blue check mark here. And that'll go ahead and add in my open sales orders here. Got a grid and a graphical format for it. Come over here, can add a new tab here. Okay. Come in here and do an add gadget. Okay. In this case, maybe I want to do a process. Okay. Sales. Um, let's keep with the orders again and say process orders. A check mark. And now I have a tab in here for processing my orders. Okay. So it's kind of as, as you know as easy as that to you know add these new element these new dashboard elements to your menu view.